Hello, this is Chad Church with Sync Fusion, and welcome to the What's New in 2011 Volume 2 presentation. We're pretty excited about this release. We have three new controls, an RDL report viewer, a map control, and a diagram for ASP.NET MVC. The cool thing about our diagram is that it was built to harness the power of HTML5. As I play around here, you can see the responsiveness and the lack of postbacks. That's because with HTML5, all this functionality happens at the client. For our MVC tree view, we've added checkboxes. Our MVC grid now has column templates, a custom toolbar, dynamic and web service data binding. We've also added a number of different pager types and given you more flexibility on displaying paging for the grid. And our grid now has hierarchy support built right into it. We are very proud to offer the first Silverlight RDL Report Viewer Control. The RDL files are actually read at the client and the database connectivity happens per one of the standard Silverlight methodologies. So your RDL reports are running on the client. Our new Silverlight map will read standard shape files, supports layers, panning, and zooming. In our Silverlight Tools suite, we have a custom template for our ribbon control. Our Docky Manager now supports Prism 4. Our tree view and combo box controls now can have check boxes as items. And we have implemented a spell check control. Our Silverlight chart now offers you the ability to edit a point with a mouse, interactive animations where the chart will respond to the pointer. And here's our pie chart example. When I click on a piece of the pie, it expands to show the data that supports that particular slice. So the sum of these values should equal the original. We've also added a context menu and printing support. For WPF, we support both bootstrappers for the PRISM 4 framework. Our Docky Manager now has the ability to drag tab items and make them into floating windows. We have a card view control. Our combo box can now have checkbox items. And we have a spell checker. Our WPF chart now has a 3D Manhattan chart type. And our chart now gives you the ability to edit your points with the mouse via drag and drop. Our WPF data grid can now bind to indexers, DLR objects, and it can sort on summary row values. Our grid control now has the Excel-like floating cell, and we've added the ability to load an Excel file and maintain that functionality. Our diagram control now has drawing tools. We have a new map control that supports shapes, layers, panning, and zooming. We also have an RDL report viewer for WPF, and this will read standard RDL reports, and let you run them in your own application. And once again, this is Chad Church from Sync Fusion. Thank you very much for watching my presentation, and I look forward to seeing you on SyncFusion.com.